My name is Koki Nomoro. I'm a 25-year-old that works full-time at a travel agency. Even though it's a travel agency, it's a small medium enterprise, so the entire company is only about 40 employees. And in our office location, there are only 7 employees, including the manager. There are a few other offices locations besides ours. During the tours themselves, we have contract employees in that specific department take care of it. So our main job is to come up with plans that the customers would enjoy, and to sell them on the tour so that they want to participate in it. Wow, I have 50 emails already. I need to reply to all of them before I go out on sales meetings. Ever since I was in high school, I loved solo traveling, and before I graduated from college, I had been all over the country. I thought that I'd be able to use that experience. That's why I joined this company, and I've been enjoying this job. However, there was just one major flaw that I had. I was thinking about wanting to go on a crab bus tour. Are you talking about the one that was an ad in the newspaper this morning? I also thought about going on that too. When it comes to going on personal trips to a major tourist destination, bigger tour companies are so much stronger. And they're cheaper. I want to go too. I want to eat crab. There's so much romance stuffed into crabs. Crabs, huh? Now that I think about it, I saw that newspaper ad this morning too. But I can't go over to talk to them. Ever since I joined this company, I haven't been able to become friends with anyone. I've finally been able to be normal when dealing with customers, but within the company, I'm still a loser with no communication skills. Every year, I vow to myself that my goal for this year is to become friends with people in the company, but I still haven't been able to make one single friend. Uh, I had to deal with a lot of customers today. I'm tired. It's a delivery! Oh, I wonder what it is. Oh. It's crabs. It's nice that they're crabs, but what is with this amount? Hello, Mom? Yeah, I just received the crabs, but... Oh, did you get them? I'm glad. One of the guys I know in town gave us a lot, so I sent them to you. I hope you enjoy them. Enjoy them, but... What am I supposed to do with this many crabs? My freezer's gonna be packed. Invite your friends over and do a crab hot pot or something. Oh, right. Friends, yeah. Wait, I don't have any friends! Cookie? Oh, well then, why don't you share them with people you work with? Oh, people from work, sure. Well, I'll figure it out. Thanks for the crabs. Yes, if you ever need anything, call me, okay? Sure. Ah, what do I do? What do I do with all these crabs? The next day, my freezer is completely packed up with crabs. However, this is an opportunity. It's my chance. I know. I'm going to use these crabs. and Maybe I'll be able to get along with everyone. The crab bus tour from yesterday. Have you already signed up? I'm still thinking about it. The dates. Yes, me too. The dates are a little bit difficult to manage. If only there was a place nearby where we could eat ourselves full with crab. They're talking about crabs again! In... in my freezer, I have a lot of crabs that were sent over from a place that's famous for delicious crabs! If you'd like, would you like to eat them together? No! I can't do it! I'm so nervous that I can't get it out! If you want to eat a crab, then you could go to a restaurant at any time and eat it. <laughs> oh, my bad. The peasants like you, I guess you can't go to restaurants like that anyway. No. At this rate, I don't even need to eat with them. I just want them to take them. I want to give it to them. I'll give you the crabs at my house. That's what I want to say, but I don't have the courage. In the end, today is about to be over without being able to talk to anyone about the crabs. Ugh, seriously, what should I do? Huh? Mr. Shimazuka? I wonder what's wrong. Uh, my head hurts. His head hurts? Uh, are you okay? Hmm? What? Um, Nimori? It's Nimoro. Oh, sorry, sorry. 
I don't have that many opportunities to talk to you, so I made a mistake. It's okay. Uh, um, your headache, are you okay? Should I go and get somebody to help you? Oh, is that why you spoke to me? <laughs> my bad, my bad. It's not like I'm sick or anything. It's just that the group vacation and planning for it was giving me a headache. Oh, shoot! I thought that he wasn't feeling well, so without thinking, I spoke to him. But it was a misunderstanding? That was unnecessary, and maybe I annoyed him because of it. This is why I'm so antisocial! I'm sorry! What? Why are you apologizing? You were worried about me, right? You know I'm grateful for that? Thank you for your kindness. I feel like this might be my first time talking to you tomorrow, but why are you so nervous? Whenever you speak to customers, you seem normal, but am I that scary? No, that's not it. It's me and... Well, whatever it is, fine. Now that I have you here, will you listen to this? This is about the prefecture that you made a tour plan for before. Oh, about that prefecture. I have the material that I used to make the plans last time. Would you mind showing me that material? I have it at home, so should I bring it tomorrow? Do you mind if I come and borrow from your house today? I really want to finish the plan by tomorrow, so matter what, please! S sure! Thanks, Demoro! Shoot! This is the first time I've ever spoken this much to someone at work! I think my head might explode! I was so overwhelmed with nerves, but I ended up heading home with Mr. Shimazuka. On the train home, Mr. Shimazuka talked to me about all kinds of things, but throughout the train ride and to this very moment, I have no memory of it. Interesting! So this is where you live tomorrow? Oh, I'll, I'll get something to drink straight away! Don't mind me. I'm just gonna get the material, and after I ask a few questions and confirm, then I'll leave. It's okay! I really will bring it straight away, so please wait! You know, I've been thinking this whole time, but why are you so nervous, man? <laughs> you can speak normally to customers, don't you? I, I wonder why. I, I don't really know the reason either. Oh, ice! What? What? Crabs. Uh, um, yes. Um, my hometown is famous for producing crabs, and yesterday these were all sent over from my family. If you'd like, will you please take some home with you? Huh? What do you mean, take some home? Are you being serious? Even though there's such good crabs! It's taking so much space in my freezer, I don't know what to do. And there's no one else I can give them to either, and I don't have anyone I can eat them with either. No, but still, I can't just take them for nothing. So why don't we do a hot pot together? We can invite Miss Ueno and Miss Nakahara too. They both were saying that they want to eat crab too. Hot pot together with Miss Ueno and Miss Nakahara? Tomorrow, you can just provide the crabs and the location. The rest of the ingredients and drinks, the three of us will prepare them all. And I'll bring the portable stove and a huge pot for it too. Hey. It really does sound like a hot pot party. It doesn't just sound like a hot pot party. I'm saying that we should have a hot pot party. At my house, a hot pot party. What? Nomoro? Are you okay? Wait! Before your brain explodes, let me borrow the material! I don't really remember what happened after that. However, when I got to the office the next day, Mr. Shimazuka thanked me a lot for the material I lent him. And I learned that my material was useful to his plan. And then, apparently he had already spoke to Miss Ueno and Miss Nakahara about the crab hot pot party plans. And Miss Ueno and Miss Nakahara thanked me as well. Are you sure we can come too? Thank you so much. Please leave the rest of the ingredients to us. By the way, what kinds of things do you like to eat, Mr. Numero? Uh, uh... Hey, it looks like Numero gets nervous when he talks to people from work. So it might be best to ask him more slowly. Oh, is that so? But you're always speaking to customers normally, aren't you? Now that I think about it, I was wondering why you don't talk to many people in the office. But I didn't know that was the reason. I'm sorry for not realizing until now. No, I should be the one apologizing. 
Even though I'm an adult, this is what I'm still like, and I'm really so ashamed of myself. There's nothing to be ashamed of at all. And look at you now. You're able to talk to us like this. If you get used to it, I'm sure you'll be able to speak to us normally too. If anything, we need to talk to him a lot from now on so that he can get used to it. But if you put too much pressure on him, he'll explode, so be careful! Oh no, 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 no! I'm talking... I'm talking to three people! I... I'm so happy! Ugh, it's amazing you guys can get so excited over such a cheap crab hot pot, losers. I know! I always hear people say the more the merrier, so maybe I should try inviting Mr. Sunioka too! Um, would you like to come too, Mr. Sunioka? Huh? Well, what makes you think that I'm gonna eat such cheap frozen crab, huh? Don't belittle me! I'm gonna go eat much better crab, so no way am I going to your stupid party! I... I'm so sorry! That bastard! Even though no more I'll build up the courage to invite him. I'm gonna be so horrible! Mr. Numero, you can't let that bother you. The four of us are going to enjoy it. Frozen crab is just as delicious anyways. Th thank you very much. Unfortunately, I was rejected by Mr. Sunioka, but I had plans that weekend to have a crab hot pot party with four people from Mr. Shimizuka, Miss Ueno, and Miss Nakahara. There's plenty of crab, so I defrosted a few so that they're ready to eat whenever. Can we eat them as sashimi too? Yes, we can. If you don't defrost well, then it usually gets too watery, but you did a great job with it, Nomoro. Uh, th thank you very much. Well, would it be okay if I take this amazing part and grill it and eat it? C go ahead. <laughs> thank you very much. Hey, everybody. The hot pot is ready as well. Let's eat, let's eat! What? What do I do? This is support fun! People from work are here at my house, and everyone's having fun, and we're doing a hot pot party. I'm so touched. What's the matter, Mr. Numero? I... I... It's just the first time that I've ever had this much fun, or had a party with anyone like this, and I'm so happy. It's so fun! Thank you so much for today. In that case, let's make sure we have plenty of fun today. Should we do something next weekend too? Why not? Good idea! Let's make a lot of plans together from now on! We're all friends now! Friends? Thanks to you, I was able to make my first friends! Thank you, Crab! Let's become even better friends from now on. Ah, oh, Mr. Nimero is so cute! <laughs> Because I grew up in a town famous for delicious crabs, I was too used to it, and I wasn't able to get as excited about the crab like Mr. Shimizuka and company. However, it was without a doubt thanks to the crabs that I was able to gain my first friends. I was grateful from the bottom of my heart to the crabs and to my family for sending the crabs to me. The Monday after the weekend... Oh man, the crab this weekend was so good. Thank you so much, truly. What kind of party should we have next? Um, when I told my family that I had a crab hot pot party with my colleagues, they said that they'll send some time over again. Do you like salmon caviar? Salmon caviar? Salmon caviar over rice? Carrot and soy sauce? Oh, well then next time I'll have them send the salmon row. Hey, wait a minute. What does your family do tomorrow? Are they fishermen? Um... Actually, my family owns a resort hotel. That makes sense. You seem to be really knowledgeable about insider information on resorts. And I was thinking you were really good at negotiating with them. I was thinking the same. Huh. Even though you say it's a resort, I bet it's just a tiny shabby resort somewhere anyway. <laughs> Last weekend, I went to the super high-end luxury resort Umino Fushigi Resort and stayed there for the weekend. The crab was delicious too. Th thank you very much! Huh? Why the hell are you thanking me? That's my family's business, so thank you very much for using them. If you would have told me, 
I would be able to get you a small discount. So next time you go to stay there, please do tell me. What? What? The son of a super luxury resort. Wait, let's make a plan for a tour there. A plan to stay at Umenufushiki Resort. Mr. Numero, you should tell us things like that a lot sooner. Oh, I I'm sorry. No, we were the ones that were too slow to become friends with Numero. You're right. We're very sorry. P please don't apologize. Mr. Shimazuka said that they were too slow to become my friends, but I don't think so at all. I can't believe I was able to become friends with such amazing people. And from now on, when I think about being able to spend time with these people, it makes me truly happy. From there, I started hanging out with Mr. Shimazuka, Miss Ueno, and Miss Takahara as a group of four on our days off of work. Mr. Sunioka still doesn't speak to me very much, but when it came to planning the trip in my hometown, he did come and discuss it with me, and I was a little bit happy about that. The crabs that were sent over from my hometown completely changed my life. And to this day, whenever I eat crab, I remember the day that I was able to become friends with everyone thanks to them. It doesn't matter if it takes you a long time or just a little while to find something in common with people. But once you do, it can be thanks to something as surprising as like crabs. Also, do you like crabs? Because I love them. Ah, I want to eat crabs now. Okay, see you next time. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.